Hello and welcome back to the home of the Mark II PV power router. This is the second of a pair of videos to show a new approach to calibration. In the first of them um, I showed how CT1, the clip-on CT, um, could be calibrated, um, each channel could be calibrated against a digital meter which we have in the garage. Uh, on this second video I'm going to show how CT2, which is this clip-on one here, can be calibrated against CT1 on the basis that CT1 has already been calibrated against a, a recognized standard. So um, this second program is Cal CT2 versus CT1. It will soon be on the downloads page. Um, it's up and running on the standard board. Uh, connection is very straightforward. It's exactly the same hardware as you would have for a two-channel Mark II PV power router. Um, if on the end of this test lead, which the two CTs are connected to, I stick on a couple of kilowatts, then two LEDs will start flashing. And the idea is to um, arrange these two LEDs to be flashing at exactly the same rate, and you know the calibration of the two channels is, um, is in order. So if I reduce it to um, just 750 watts, which is quite a small uh, amount, then you'll see the difference between the two flashing rates. And uh, it looks fairly clear to me that the red one on the right is flashing just before the yellow one on the left. Now, on this particular sketch, um, I've arranged that um, if you earth R11, resistor 11, the, the track here, um, that's analog naught, otherwise known as um, digital 14. Um, if you earth it, then you'll find both LEDs will go on, and you can flick them both on and off. And um, what that's doing is, is resetting both channels. So the two set channels are now synchronized. So we can have a look and see and, and, and monitor the two to see if, the, um, if they're drifting. If you put a little bit more uh, power on, which is two kilowatts, then you're sort of speeding up time. And um, although they look to be pretty much uh, flashing at the same rate, if I now switch them off, so we've just got 750 watts, um, I can see from here, and I hope the camera um, shows this properly, that the red one on the right is um, somewhat ahead of the uh, yellow one on the left. The red one on the right is CT1, uh, for which I've got the calibration value set at 0.05, and the one on the left is CT2, um, and it's showing as being too slow. So if we go over to the um, software, i just wake up the computer, um, these are the two Cal values. Um, CT1 is set to 0 0.05, CT2 is 0 0.506. So 0 0.0506 is too small, so I'm going to change that to 0 0.509, 0 0.0509. So I've gone up by three parts in 500. And uh, uh, compile the program, and at the end of that, the two lights should come on because this is how. Uh, a digital meter comes on when it's in its standby mode. So if we now repeat the test and put a couple of kilowatts on, I've increased the calibration value for uh, CT2, so I'm expecting it to now go faster than CT1. So after a few um, iterations uh, like this, I'll put the power down to just the 750, and we're now seeing that the yellow one is going substantially faster than the, um, the red. So the Cal value for CT2 is too high um, relative to uh, CT1. So we started with a Cal value of 0.506 and that was seen as being too slow. Um, I moved it to 0.509 which was too fast and the value that I had before I started was roughly 0.05075 which is midway between the uh, 506 and the 509. So essentially all this is showing is that you can make small changes to the um, value in the program at this point where in the calibration section of the program and you can get a very um, high degree of resolution as to whether one channel is going faster than the other because of the, um, the way that the two signals get synchronized. As I say, you can synchronize the two channels at any time by earthing um, R11, which is connected back to um, digital 14 or analog naught, and so we're now back in back in sync. So it's a very easy way of calibrating 
um, CT2 against CT1 and by an associated program CT1 can be very easily calibrated against the, um, the digital meter of the house. So by this, by means of these two programs, you can calibrate um, Mark II router hardware um, very straightforwardly without need for really any equipment other than just a couple of LEDs and bits and pieces. All very straightforward and um, a lot more satisfactory, a lot better than simply putting um, a load that's presumed to have a certain value and hoping that that's uh, what it's pulling. Because the amount of power that a particular appliance is pulling can um, vary depending on the voltage. Whereas um, a proper power meter, um, such as every house has, that's measuring the, the power, um, recognizing the voltage. So you're actually checking the, the proper power, uh, real power, which is the same calculation as the router does when it's measuring um, volts and current. So that's my preferred way of um, doing calibration. Thanks for watching.